It's Christy from SavingDollarsAndCents.com and I am back here with you again to show you one of my favorite snacks. It takes about 10 minutes to make from start to finish and I just want to show you how easy it is to make. I had shared it on the blog a couple of days ago. It's called Baked Brussels Chips and let me just start off by saying if you are right now going, ew, gross Brussels sprouts, that was me not that long ago. I had um, Brussels sprouts once when I was a kid and they were horrible. So I, I vowed never to touch them again. And then um, a bunch of my friends were telling me about this really great recipe and that I would love them if I gave them a try. And we happened to be kicking the sugar habit. So we were trying to eat really, really healthy. And that means I was giving up all my favorite stuff. Well, a lot of my favorite stuff, including potato chips. And this recipe, did what I needed it to do because it tastes very much like potato chips. They are crispy, they are salty, and they are very full of flavor, and they're healthy for you too. So in 10 minutes, you can have them finished from beginning to end. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I have already cut up and like pulled apart most of the Brussels sprouts just um, to save time because I want to be you know mindful of the time that I'm spending here and also because Rich is in the basement right now waiting on me so that we can finish our Stranger Things marathon. We are still on season two and we need to get caught up because I know it'll just be a matter of time before somebody shares a spoiler from season three. So anyway, I have a cup. I'm gonna move this camera down so you can see what I'm doing down here. So one second. Okay, hopefully. Okay, I think that's gonna work. So basically all I'm doing is I peeled the outside of the Brussels sprout and I rinsed them off really well. And then all I'm gonna do is cut off this end piece so that it's like this. And then I like to cut them in half because it makes them a lot easier to peel in my opinion. And so you'll see that once they're cut in half, if you've never done this before, once they're cut in half, they just kind of start coming apart and you can just peel all of the leaves off as much as you can. Now there's going to come a point where you can't peel any more of the leaves off and that is totally fine and you can just, you know, put those right into the bowl. In fact, sometimes when I'm in a hurry or don't, you know, I just don't want to spend all the extra time peeling them because it can be a little annoying, I guess. Um, what I will do just to save time and to hurry the process up is I will cut the Brussels sprout in half and then I will literally just throw the whole thing on a cookie sheet like that. Um, one of the tricks that I have learned is that the longer they cook, the crunchier they get, which is what I really like because then they kind of get the texture or the consistency of potato chips and that's, that's why I like my baked Brussels sprout. The baked Brussels sprouts. The recipe is called baked Brussels chips. So, all right, this one is done. I got one more to do. So oh, let's cut that in half first. Okay, so I have the oven temperature warming right now to 400 degrees. And then once I have these all ready to go, I'm going to put a little bit, um, two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, let's see, I'm almost done here. Okay, so we'll move that aside. And here's my Brussels chips. So some of them are more like whole, and that's okay. And then we have these ones. And these are the ones that are gonna be really good because these are the ones that are gonna get nice and crispy. And the longer you cook them, the crispier they get. I like to cook them until they're, they look like they're burnt, but they're not. They're so good like that. The recipe says to cook them for five to 10, or five to eight minutes, about. So then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get some olive oil and put two tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I forgot my tablespoon, but I usually just kind of eyeball it anyway. So that seems about right. And you're also going to add some garlic powder, about a fourth teaspoon. Again, I'm just kind of a, you know, I like a lot of garlic, by the way, so you'll see that I put a lot of that on. But the recipe calls for one fourth teaspoon of garlic and one 
fourth teaspoon of black pepper. So I usually just kind of shake it on there a little bit and then some salt. And I'm using Himalayan sea salt because that's what we have. And you could use any, any table salt as well. So now that I got all my sea, oh, and a quart, well, it says about a half of a, or a fourth of a fresh squeezed lemon, but I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it on there because I'm in a hurry. I wanna get this in the oven so that I can get downstairs and start our Stranger Things marathon. Well, I don't know how much of a marathon it's gonna be because it's already eight o'clock, so we'll probably get a couple episodes in before we have to head to bed, but. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then I see I got a seed in there, so I'm gonna pick that out. And then you just kind of mix it up. Pretty good. And like I said, these are gonna cook really, really fast. They um, crisp up, up very, very quickly. So you wanna kind of keep an eye on them if this is your first time trying this recipe. And that way you can judge for yourself when you wanna pull them out. Like I said, I like them crispier but the recipe says about five to eight minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. So then the next thing we're going to do is get our pan. And this is like the perfect size for me. Don't judge my pan, it works really well. It's the perfect size for brownies as well. And then um, you can use parchment paper on the bottom to keep it from making a big mess on your pan. I have wax paper here, so that's what I'm using. And, um, and that's it, you're gonna dump your Brussels sprouts onto the pan, just like that, and spread them out so they're in a good thin layer so that they have a chance to really crisp up, crisp, crisp up well. So that is it, you guys. This is the Brussels sprouts. Sorry about that, my phone fell. So these are the Brussels sprouts on the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven right now. It's been preheated and then cook them for five to eight minutes and I will be enjoying them in no time at all. I hope you guys will give this a try and if you want the recipe, it is in the description of this video. So go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the recipe with photos and you can even print the recipe if you wanna keep it. All right, have a great night, you guys, bye.